This is going to be a demo of how to set up and calibrate Expert Sleeper's Silent Wire voice controller in Digital Performer. This is the hardware setup I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial. We've got uh, a modular synth connected to a Motu Ultralight. Um, so there are various connections coming out of the Ultralight. Uh, at the bottom, the main output pair is just going into my patch bay that's routed straight back into the uh, monitor speakers so we can hear stuff. Um, the two outputs at the top, uh, outputs one and two. Output one is routed to the oscillator pitch CV there. And output two is routed to the gate input of the uh, envelope generator. And the input to the ultralight is analog input three, and that is coming from the output of the VCA. So it's a perfectly simple um, VCO envelope generator VCA patch uh, connected to the ultralight for this demo. So the first thing we're going to do here is add some tracks. Uh, we're going to need uh, a MIDI track so we can receive MIDI from our keyboard. And we're going to need a number of AUX tracks. Uh, we're going to need uh, four in total for this demo. Um, having set these up, we'll switch over to the mixer because it's a little bit easier to see what's going on there. Um, this track is simply going to be a monitor track, so we can listen to the output of the synth through our monitor speakers. So we'll take its input from Ultralight Analog 3, which is where we've got the synth plugged in. Um, and at this point, if I just trigger the synth manually, we've got audio coming in, so that's nice. AUX2 is going to be where we're going to uh, put the Silent Way voice controller. So we'll rename that Silent Way. Um, and the important thing at this point is to assign its input first because the voice controller, uh, voice controller only loads as a uh, mono to stereo plugin. And if you don't tell this to performer that you've got a mono input, it won't give you that plugin as an option. So we'll give it analog three again, uh, which is the input to the synth. And the output from the voice controller is going to be the ultralights and log one two, which is what we what we've got controlling CV and gate on the synth. Uh, so now we've got that configured, we can insert our silent wave plugin. Uh, now that's dropped off the bottom of this video, but I'll just uh, what we're looking for is expert sleepers silent wave voice controller monitor stereo. So there it goes. We've now loaded the plugin. And now we can assign our MIDI to the input of that plugin. So get the drop down menu. Uh, if we want the voice controller that's inserted on the track called Silent Way, and we'll just use MIDI channel one, it really doesn't matter what. Um, now these other AUX tracks are going to route the remaining outputs of the voice controller plugin. It has six outputs in total. Uh, the first two, as I said, for pitch and gate, the other three are the envelopes and the trigger by default. So we'll set these, we'll on new stereo bundle, and then this is where we see the remaining outputs of the voice controller plugin. So we'll get those, and then we'll get those. And then these are gonna go out to the ultralights uh, 3, 4, and 5, 6. So at this point, uh, the plugin is loaded, working, and receiving MIDI. So if I play some MIDI notes, you can see it's sending out a gate CV, which is triggering the synth. And it's also running its own internal envelope generators, which you can see uh, in the video here. But of course, it's just playing a single note because we haven't calibrated it yet. So to calibrate it, we just press the calibrate button, which is this one, uh, which I'll do now. So there you go, successful calibration. We've got a nice uh, calibration line in the plugin now, showing the relationship between uh, MIDI note and CV. And if I now play a scale on the MIDI keyboard, success. Now, um, 
in the future, if we want to uh, use the voice controller again, we don't need to go through this whole calibration process because we can just save the calibration out to disk as a text file. So if we click Save here in the plugin window, uh, we'll use the Save it to my desktop, calibration.txt, Save. Then next time we want to use uh, the voice controller, um, we could set it up on an aux track as an effect again, or we could actually use an instrument track. There we go. Uh, Expert Sleeper Silent Wave Voice Controller Stereo is an instrument track. Um, give it the right outputs, and we'll divert the MIDI to point to that track now, which is that one. Uh, and then in the plugin window, if I just click load and select the calibration file I just saved, you see it's instantly loaded it, and now we can now use this voice controller to play the synth. And it works lovely.